On a calm September morning in 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1, a small spacecraft destined to become a symbol of human ambition. It wasn't just a science project, it was a leap into the unknown, leaving Earth to explore the vast, mysterious cosmos. Voyager 1 carried more than machinery, it carried the hopes of humanity reaching for the stars. The mission was simple at first, fly by Jupiter and Saturn and collect data. But that modest plan evolved into one of the greatest space adventures in history. Voyager 1 had a twin, Voyager 2, launched just weeks earlier. Both were built using 1970s technology, no smartphones, no AI, just analog components, soldered circuits, and human brilliance. Back then, engineers thought the mission might last five years. Few imagined that today, nearly 50 years later, Voyager 1 would still be active, communicating across billions of miles. With just 69 kilobytes of memory, less than one photo on your phone, Voyager continues to operate, an achievement nothing short of extraordinary. In 1979, Voyager 1 reached Jupiter, sending back stunning images of the Great Red Spot, a storm wider than Earth. It also observed Io, Jupiter's moon, erupting with volcanic activity, something never seen outside Earth. Scientists were amazed. Then, in 1980, it arrived at Saturn, revealing that the planet's rings weren't simple at all, they were complex, layered, and shaped by small, shepherd moons. Voyager changed how we understood these gas giants. What had been theories became facts. After Voyager, textbooks had to be rewritten. But it didn't stop there. Voyager kept flying, past Uranus, Neptune, and even Pluto. In 2012, it crossed a boundary called the Heliopause, the edge of our sun's influence, and entered interstellar space. This was the first time a human-made object had done so. Physicist Michio Kaku called Voyager's data revolutionary. The probe detected plasma waves and magnetic vibrations in regions once thought to be empty. These weren't random noises, they had rhythm, like ripples in a lake. Some scientists wondered if Voyager had picked up traces of dark matter or signs of new physics beyond what we know. The SETI Institute, which searches for alien life, said the signals were unlike anything ever recorded. They didn't claim aliens, but they also didn't rule it out. Carl Sagan, one of Voyager's visionaries, once said, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Just because we haven't found alien life doesn't mean it's not there. Some researchers still reanalyze Voyager's strange signals. Could there be something, or someone, out there? The questions grow, even as Voyager sails through silence. Operating in such a harsh environment is no small feat. Voyager 1 endures cosmic radiation, freezing temperatures near 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and absolute isolation. Its power comes from RTGs, devices that turn the heat from plutonium decay into electricity. Even though the output drops over time, they still keep Voyager alive. Inside Voyager is something extraordinary, the golden record. It's a message to the universe, a time capsule containing Earth sounds, greetings in 55 languages, music, bird songs, ocean waves, even a baby laughing. It includes Beethoven and blind Willie Johnson, a testament not just to science, but to our humanity. Voyager still surprises us. In 2021, scientists detected a plasma hum, a low steady tone from deep space. Astrophysicist Stella Ower said, it's like finding a faint steady tone in a noisy room. This showed that interstellar space isn't silent, it's full of subtle energy and interactions. Voyager 1, now over 14.8 billion miles from Earth, sends signals that take 22 hours to reach us. The sun from there looks like a tiny speck. It's the farthest object humans have ever sent into space, still drifting, still exploring. The hum Voyager detected isn't sound in the normal sense. There's no air in space. But plasma, the electrically charged soup of particles, can vibrate. When those vibrations are converted to audio, they create strange tones. Dr. Don Garnett, who led the plasma wave team, said, This shows us that space isn't empty, it's alive. Meanwhile, Voyager 2, its twin, is also out there, nearly 20 billion kilometers away. 
It too records cosmic rays, plasma ripples, and magnetic waves. Some data makes sense, some doesn't. Could Voyager be traveling through regions shaped by unknown forces? Astronomer David Bennett estimates that billions of rogue planets roam the galaxy, not tied to any star. If one had moons like Europa, it might harbor underground oceans and maybe life. Voyager's instruments have picked up magnetic shifts and plasma anomalies that hint at these hidden worlds. When Voyager crossed the heliopause, scientists expected silence. Instead, they heard that hum, proving space beyond the sun is active. Some scientists, including Dr. Jill Tarter, believe that intelligent civilizations might use plasma waves for communication. The plasma hum could carry patterns or signals we don't yet understand. Voyager isn't built to decode alien messages, but it may be receiving pulses, rhythms, or even signals too complex for us to recognize, whispers in the dark of the galaxy. The idea that plasma could be part of a cosmic web of communication is no longer just science fiction. And always, there's the golden record, spinning silently across the stars. A record of who we are, waiting for someone, or something, to find it. Now, Voyager 1 is entering a zone known as the Local Interstellar Cloud, a region filled with dust, plasma, and unknown structures. It has detected pressure changes, magnetic turbulence, and gaps scientists can't explain. Physicist Kip Thorne once said, The fabric of space is not smooth, it's turbulent and dynamic. Voyager's journey supports this. It may be brushing against structures shaped by magnetic fields, gravitational waves, or even dark energy. In some regions, Voyager 1 and 2 report different readings, as if each is passing through cosmic rooms invisible to us.